an addendum to the business about my appreciation of America's space program. It is now, as you know, a dead in the water. It's a done deal. In a time when we're talking about how to reduce the federal deficit and things that we can cut out from the budget in terms of expenditures, well, you know that the space program is not going to be one of those things that America is going to demand we devote lots of money to. I get it. I understand it. Somewhere in uh, August of 2011, I saw a uh, trailer for a movie called Welcome to Titusville. Titusville is a uh, town in uh, Florida, and many of the people who lived there were instrumental in making the space program happen. And when the plug was pulled out of the space program, clearly the energy was zapped from Titusville. So I watched the trailer sent to me by the uh, man who created it, who hopes to uh, finish his documentary and show it to others. And I was so moved and touched by the simple words of the common, everyday men and women who did the heavy lifting from the very beginning, whose names we will never know, who never received the uh, plaques, the credits, the ticker tape parades, or any of those things. They just did the good work. And if you listen to their voices and look into their eyes, perhaps you will see what I see by way of sadness, disappointment, and the abandonment of what I viewed as a foundation of the American spirit and the very, very best that people can offer in terms of looking beyond where we are. By the way, here's a plug. If you were an investor, if you were somebody who believes that uh, this movie should be made and distributed, well, there are credits at the end of the clip. For the rest of us, welcome to Titusville. I think that I have seen every shuttle launch but one, personally. The first shuttle launch was probably the most memorable to me, and that was because I just graduated from college in 1981. I got hired in in April of uh, 1980 to be able to, to work on Columbia, the first flow. I was an inspector working on the thermal protection system a massive undertaking, the, the amount of work we did. We worked days and days and days without a day off, 10, 12 hour days, and, and glad to do it. At one stretch, I think I worked 64 days in a row without a day off. I was at the uh, Titan complex and watched an unbelievable thing happen. I mean, this solid, white, beautiful monument that was all lit up just took off from zero, you know, to go to outer space 17,000 miles an hour, you know, it was overwhelming. There was no test flight, the thing just, uh, they put those guys in, and uh, John Young and Bob Crippen, and they went. These guys got big balls, man. <laughs> Wrap your ass to a rocket. <laughs> I mean, they realize the chances that they're taking, you know. Most of them are very well trained, you know, pilots. And 
they know that, you know, they might go up there and not come back, you know. probably find where I was standing to the blade of grass as I stood on the waterfront and watched it occur. And I didn't need to go home and have a news reporter confirm what had happened. And uh, I have no words. Challenger was just devastating. Yeah, I was actually working third shift at the pad and we had, you know, all of our emergency showers running. The the uh, sinks are running and, and just the water dripping off the pad and it's turning into icicles and go, there's no way we're going to launch. I mean, that's just, it's just silly. A freezing cold day, you know, holding binoculars in your hand and waiting for some miraculous return to launch site that never happened. I still get chills talking about it. We check and double check everything before we sign off on anything. Everybody had that instinct, you know, did we miss something? When we lost Columbia, it was a similar, similar thing because Columbia was the first shuttle to fly and it's like part of our life, you know, you, you don't lose an orbiter. It was kind of a certain kind of eeriness that came about and um, all of a sudden things kind of people started moving around and leaving and I guess there was like a sense of something had happened and we didn't know exactly what happened. I happened to be home that morning and I wasn't working landing and when I saw you know that they lost contact I said oh, something's just definitely not right so you know it's just an unfortunate thing you know you, you push an envelope and when things go bad they, they go really bad. This is something I waited all my life to experience this close, and now things have gone wrong. And so it left me very kind of sad and uh, it left me wondering what was going to happen to the program. I started this business 27 years ago in case my husband got laid off and he worked out there for 31 years. So he just got laid off along with the 585 other people um, on Friday, last Friday. Our houses are worthless so we can't sell them, you know, and so when people get laid off they move away. So the impact here is tremendous. Now um, the town is pretty much coming to almost like I don't want to say a ghost town, but it's definitely uh, dwindled in size. You don't have as many families here anymore. You don't have as many young people anymore. They all go to Orlando or other surrounding areas. And so, again, it's that feeling of Titusville is kind of slowly dying a little bit. And so with the space program leaving, we don't know what the outcome is going to be. I've been on the street for a while. I've talked to a lot of guys out here. I mean, I'm a trained carpenter, and I can't find work anywhere. I was talking to this one guy the other day, he's a licensed electrician. He can't find work. He, he's standing up in front of the Home Depot with a sign. Electrician with tools needs work. He says, I've been out here for two weeks. He says, I, I can't find shit. I don't know what's going on. I hope it changes soon, but I doubt it. You know, it's scary. We're, we're all wondering what we're going to do. It's been our life for the last 31 years. This program has been my life. I've printed shirts, and <clears throat> it's emotional. Being at the launch pad, doing that walk down and seeing the hardware there, uh, it, you know, it becomes a party, and, and it's kind of like anything. It, it gets routine, and you don't think that much of it, but, but when you sit there and really look at it, it's, it's just an impressive uh, engineering feat for, for humankind. I don't know how to excite kids about growing algae. You know, it's not the same as flying in space like Buck Rogers. 
we'll see the next space program begin out here. We have survived Apollo. We have survived the Challenger incident. Um, and uh, we, we spring back surprisingly well. It'll be a sad day, but it'll, it'll be a fitting into an incredible program.